Good morning and praise the Lord. Uh, today is the 20th of December. It's only five days to Christmas. So Merry I guess Christmas. I can say Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes. We want to be the first ones to wish you Merry Christmas. I hope we're the first. Uh, yeah. So yeah, welcome to today's broadcast. We are so excited. Uh, we've been doing our Advent lessons and uh, yeah, this is another really exciting one for us. So we welcome you. Um, and we're so grateful that you get to join us. And yeah. once again, I'll be requesting Shalom, who's joining us for the second week, um, to open for us with a word of prayer. Karibu Shalom. Welcome. Thank you. Let's pray. God, we thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for giving us the strength, energy, and time to come to your sanctuary and, you know, deliver your word to the teens of this church. Um, we pray that you're going to use us as your vessels and that you will help this word to be of nourishment to our souls. In Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Um, yeah, so let's just do a quick recap of last week. I don't know, Shalom, what do you remember from last week's session? Uh, I, remember us, I remember us talking about doubt mm. and how John the Baptist was maybe starting to doubt if Jesus really was the Messiah mm. and him sending someone to ask God Mm. And I remember us um, like relating it to our current situations right now because so many of us are in doubt, of course, because mm. of whatever has been happening this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah anything to add to that, Rev? Yeah, I, mean, I, I just remember and I, I'm still in love with what she said that um, this time during Corona period, our teenagers being locked up, they are almost going through maybe what our brother went through mm. um, the challenges um, the, the 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 mental issues and you know at the end of it when we are talking about Christ is alive the message that he sends to John that yes I am here miracles are still happening mm. even up to date mm. we talked about those people who get near nearly being hit by matatus and we s we we said of how we expect them to become even priests mm. because god still has a purpose for them we talked about many things mm. but i think what i took home was the fact that indeed jesus is here yeah he has come i'm not waiting for another messiah mm. jesus has come and if you are a jew and you're watching this Jesus is already here. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Don't wait for another Messiah. <laughs> oh, why do you look? Why do you look at easy when you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't know whether there's a Jew watching me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe be confident, man. Because I think that's our confidence. You yeah, know. it is our confidence. He is here. Yeah. And we will not be here. We will uh. not be celebrating Christmas if he was not here. Yeah. So, if you're still waiting for another Messiah, <laughs> I will say this. Mm. And say, yeah. Look at the people who are walking. Look at people who are getting healed of corona, you know. Yeah. Look at the, the families that are getting reunited. Look at the peace in our countries. Mm. Look at the goodness and the goodies that you get to enjoy throughout the week. That is God happening right there. Mm. Yeah, and, and, and if you are running short of these miracles, please see us later. I think, I think even just the word of God itself is sufficient evidence, you know. Yeah. Like... The same thing Jesus was telling the disciples of John. Mm. You know what? Look at the things I've done. What have you heard? What have you seen? Mm. And for us, I mean, we're not living in the time of Jesus, mm. but the Bible is there. Yes, it is. You know, I, I remember we were, we were having this discussion. The, the, the way John, John, the author, mm. has written the book of John, mm. any, in everything, everything that he has written from the beginning to the end mm. is just telling everyone, this is the guy. Yeah. This is the guy. Yeah. Him, he doesn't start, oh, Jesus was born. Jesus was, yeah, his ma uh, mother was Mary. Dad was Joseph. And this is the story. He's the only, he's the only, it's the only gospel that starts differently. Yeah. You know, like, mm. he just starts straight up. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the mm. word was God, and through mm. the word, you know, the word was created. Mm. And he's just pointing the fact that this guy, let's start straight up, this guy is the Messiah. That's true. And I think that was the biggest message that we heard from last week, that yeah. even the word of God, we may not have, Jesus may not be walking with the 12 disciples here today, mm. but the word of God is that evidence that we can rely on. Yeah. Indio. Yeah, de de definitely. You know, John, he's considered the disciple of love. Mm. Because again, first of all, we know him to be the one who was loved the most. He always described himself as the mm. disciple who was loved by Jesus. The one yeah. who was most loved. Love who Jesus loved. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. And out of that, you get to hear again, he's a disciple, you know, of love. He's, he shares love. And even when we are discipling young Christians, the first gospel that we refer them to mm -hmm. is go and read the gospel of John. Yeah. Because John, the way he puts it, he does not just give an account, but it's like he's giving a story of a beloved. Mm -hmm. And if you remember one of the words I used earlier, it's like that guy who you call spontaneous to come and give an attribute at a funeral service. He doesn't, he has not prepared anything, but his words are so mm -hmm. connected to the person who has gone. Feel They're moved. so intimate that you'll actually cry the most. Regard, even more than the one who put words uh, on paper and you read together with him, but the one who really talks from the heart, there's something about that kind of a speech. Mm. And this is what John does for us. He moves us about the unmovable mover. Mm. That's a little bit of theology right there. Yeah. And we are not going to go any further <laughs> than that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Uh, so that's a look back at what we were doing last week. And yeah, it was a really, for me, a really, really exciting lesson that the Messiah has come. And we don't need to worry about yeah. situations, uh, Maisha. He is Very here. Focus. He's here. He's here. That's, that's our biggest hope, right? Yeah. Mm. So just in case there's somebody who is thinking that on the 25th on Friday, Jesus is going to be like a small baby who does not know whatever is happening in this world. Uh -uh. Where? We are only remembering on the 25th that he was born. 2,000 years ago, he is here. Mm. He is watching you. Izo ma plants, plants umetengeneza na wabeshito wako mwende mkapotele, siju wapi. Izo ma drinks zenyo mefiche, siju wapi kwa gari ndo mkifika usha gomu zingoe. You are a Christian, I want to remind you. And Jesus is watching. Usimu angushe. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, so as we get into today's, um, today's lesson, uh, today's Advent lesson, by the way, today is the, f the last Advent lesson we are doing, right? Mm. Um, as we get into today's Advent lesson, um, I know you're having a, an interesting discussion about names. Mm. Um, <laughs> I know Shalom is already smiling uh, <laughs> because she has some interesting names. Uh, maybe we can start with you. What, what, what is the meaning of your names? Or, okay, in English, in English, it is name, by the way, your name. My name is Greg. They're not names. It's a name. It is, <laughs> it is name. It is name. So tell us your name in full. Um, I am Shalom Riri Mugisha Mungai. So I should explain. Yeah, just go ahead. Okay. Um, Shalom means peace. It's Hebrew for peace. And then Riri is Kikuyu for glory. And then Mugisha and Mungai, they have the same meaning. They mean belonging to God. Mm. But then oh. Mugisha is in Luganda, uh -huh. and Mungai is in Kikuyu. Uh -huh. Literally all her names have meanings. Oh yes, every name. All her names have meanings. Rev, who tell us yours? Yeah, so um, I am Dennis Ndenge. Wa Kilo. Dennis <laughs> Denge Kilo. And uh, <laughs> uh, Dennis, I know it has a connection with some Greek god <laughs> who used to ferment wine. <laughs> Coming from something Denisios. Denge to the, Kiku, to the Bantus. Yeah. Denge is actually a he goat. Yes. And then we have Kilo. Kelo, uh, it is something to do with darkness. So that will be a ferment of wine. <laughs> Who's, who has maybe a lot of he goats who are actually black? Maybe black he goats. <laughs> That's an interesting one. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> 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 so back in the day, uh -huh. I used to tell myself that probably at some point, because I was like this black sheep, black he goat, uh, Christ washed me and I became now this white sheep. Uh, uh, Not white he goat, yeah, white yeah, sheep. You're a goat anymore, you're a white sheep. <laughs> I'm a white sheep. Uh, that's, a, that's, a nice, that's a nice one. Man. Yeah, like you, you have to play with your, with your, you have to define yourself, man. Yeah. Because sometimes the world will give you things. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. When I was in the world, actually my name, I used my name 
to justify my habits. Mm. Because I drank, I'll tell people, hey, my name is associated with the wine god, so after all, don't blame me. You know, uh, we, 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 were, we were up high running, running and chasing after every cascade that was passing along our way. And you know, the Kahigota say, hey, it's my name, you know, it comes. It comes to the territory. And then it, uh, it's black. Oh, I did not, I was not much into church, so Gothic was kind of my, my theme. Ah. All right? So you see how somebody, and, and maybe it's something for our parents, when you are naming your children, you ought to think about the names you're giving them. Because at some point, Silo Mekosa, their own self-confidence through their own characters and abilities and talents, they would like to look for anything they can hang on. And sometimes they just go for the names. And they'll just attach every name to anything. You know, anything that is coming along the way that they can look cool. Because if they don't, they'll be given nicknames. Do you know the nickname I was given in high school? <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> I'll not use it. That, that, that use one, it. you'll buy me something. <laughs> As in, uh, yo, 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 I, tokangi. Because if you're watching this and you're my buddy in high school, ah, manze don't text. <laughs> but then you know what, guys, please feel free to share <laughs> meaning of your names down on the chat. That's true. Um, and also, if you have nicknames and you're a bit more courageous than Rev is <laughs> to share your nickname, please go ahead and do it. Ah, and if you were know. watching and you were in high school with Reverend Dennis and you know his nickname <laughs> in high school, they please also not. write in the chat. They are not. They are not. Um, <laughs> they, there's something you've said and I want to go back to Shalom and ask okay. um, about you're talking about the parents. Their parents give children names. Yeah. Do you know why your parents gave you your names? Um, they said they prayed mm. over our names. Mm. So yes. Uh, that's I think that's what you were pointing to, Rev. That it's not just going at it randomly, but actually t- we committing in prayer. Oh yes. Right? Oh yes. You you have to. You have to. Like, for example, I told you about the names of my children, right? I was about to ask you now, names of your children. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so, um, let's start with Lemuel. Lemuel, the name is supposed to remind me of my call because it means the devoted one. Mm. That's why I called him Lemuel. I called him Baraka because when I got saved, I did not feel feel like I wanted to be called anything else. I changed my name on Facebook and I called myself Dennis Baraka. Uh, actually, just Dennis Baraka. And people started calling me Baraka. Baraka, 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 Baraka. So I, I realized, okay, so it is actually a name I'm going to give my son. At least that, that name does not go. But they, do you know her brother's name is Baraka? I know. <laughs> yes. I know that. We share that in common. Yes. He's my son. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Baraka, I called him Baraka. And then now the other ones that came after that was, uh, he was called after my dad, who, who is called Kelo. And then, of course, you must get the surname that is Ndenge. Mm. That follows you. <laughs> but it doesn't define you. Yes. Um, and then now came the other one who was called Donatella. Donatella means a beautiful gift. Uh, mm. Elaine, uh, because this year we are talking about uh, being the light of the world. Mm. Elaine talks about the star, like that light, um, something to do with that. And then we have Ndonge, that's my mom's name. Uh, and then Ndenge, that's the surname. So o- all these names are not just random names, but then they are names that I would not like to forget. I would don't want to forget my parents' names. And I don't want to forget when these guys were born, what it meant for me. Mm. And I, I really prayed for them. In fact, my wife will tell you, when people come asking, now what are you doing with your name? I'm going to say, after prayers and consultations, he's the one who comes with the names. Mm. Yeah. Hey, nice. All right. Names, what's in a name? Um, <coughs> I think I also shared this with you. Mm. Uh, if my mother had, how it, uh, it's my dad who insisted on my name, Gray. Yeah. But if my mom had an option, That's true. Uh, my name would be Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, it was you up to her. And you always say that so we'd thing have and then Dennis, <laughs> then Dennis on the bench. But my mom didn't have her way, so thank God. Uh, I don't know. Do you look God, like a Dennis, really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for what reason she loved the name Dennis. Honestly, yeah. I still, I still need to have that conversation with her yeah, and ask her. It would be really fun if we found ourselves working together uh-huh. in the same department, <laughs> both Dennises, yeah. dealing with teens. <laughs> Did I don't know? You would have heard what I heard back in the day. Dennis the Menis. <laughs> <laughs> that that <laughs> that was ev- almost everywhere. Almost yeah. everywhere you went, yeah. Dennis and tennis, tennis the menis, tennis uh-huh. the menis. There was even 
No, let me not go to these names. <laughs> I'm not you probably have names. revealed your nickname somewhere not at yet. one point. Not ah, yet. Oh, also Farthest. <laughs> the one for high school. <laughs> Farthest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you know when you're talking about also names for kids, um, my wife and I also sat down, mm. and we had to think through names. Um, the doctor my wife was seeing before before our son was born, mm. when he, you know, my wife really wanted to know the gender yes. before. I was like, I don't need to. I mean, it's not a big deal. I sure, me, I wanted like all the past <laughs> one. <laughs> no, for me, any design was really, really wanted to know. So finds out it's a boy. So th- what the doctor said, and I think this one was so significant for us, was don't name your... Now f- start looking for a name. Yeah. And for me, we were surprised. Like, hey, okay, what do you mean? He's like, don't name names just because everyone else is naming. Yeah. Find a meaning in a name. And, and please don't like mention names. There might be people watching already been called those <laughs> names. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll not mention names. Wait, I can't. I cannot. Um, and, and for us, we started thinking and praying through it mm-hmm. and named him Zach. Zach Zachariah. God remembers. Oh. It's God remembers. And for us to say. So yeah. his full name is Zacharias. No, his you full name is Zach. Us. You revealed it. It's Even his baptism <laughs> certificate is Zach. Zach Otugi. Yes. <laughs> Otugi is grace. Uh, just yeah. seeing God's grace in our lives, you know, that far. You say Zach means? Zach, God remembers. God remembers. Mm. Oh, wow. God remembers. That's beautiful. Yes. So, uh, so it, it, for me, it's exciting when we think we're getting to talk about names today. Yes. And then specifically, now that we are in Advent, last Sunday of Advent, and Friday it's Christmas, mm. um, I'd love to read for us uh, where our lesson, where our major th- focus is going to be on yeah. um, for today. That's Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25, which says, This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Mm. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, And you're going to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded. Uh, what had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son. And he gave him the name Jesus. Mm. You know, the first sermon I ever preached in the teens mm. was this. Oh. Yes. Right. This is the first it someone. It was Christmas. Yes, 2015. I joined teens ministry in November. And then somewhere uh, in December, is when I was told, hey, you'll need to give your first someone this Sunday. And it was based on this. Oh, wow. And one of the thoughts that came through my mind was, if I was Joseph, uh, I am, my betrothed is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and then the angel comes and says, no, it's a child of God. Drama. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I, I find Joseph to be one very courageous man. Yes. And who knows God's voice. That's true. Because I think it's very, in, very easy for us to ignore God's voice. Oh, anyway, yes. That, that's, that's, that has just hit my mind from my first sermon in the teens ministry. 2015. You can dig out all kinds of conspiracies. That's <laughs> how much potential Joseph had. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, even, even being spoken by an angel, as in it called for Jesus to call a separate angel for him. Hey, Aki. Because it is Abo, not on his, his, yeah, because <laughs> at, a, at a ghost. I remember I asked the, ki- the, the teenagers mm-hmm. that day, if you were Joseph, what would you do? Yeah, I'll give like, you this Like, where Joseph? Where <laughs> I'll read the Bible. <laughs> you as a person, I don't think, for me as an individual, without having heard God's voice, ah, uh, uh, mm, where, where? Can I tell you of a story? Uh, of course, the names will not be mentioned to protect the innocent. There was. No, no, wait. <laughs> I, I think it is not 
PG rated. I I think it's it's for we, the family. We, we can move on. <laughs> we can move we on are swiftly. a family friendly <laughs> show. <laughs> we can move on swiftly. <laughs> but one day, guys, when you come to the youth and we are old enough to discuss that one, I'll gi- definitely give you the story. It will be more appropriate for you then, but not now. Hi. Now, uh, for Joseph was just on the, off the top of my head. I think what we what we want to discuss is Jesus and the yeah. name Jesus. Maybe what other names are there of Jesus in the Bible? What oh. names do we? What names can we? Remember, Prince of Peace. Well, and then this is when we always hear so many of them. Yeah, wonderful counselor. Wonderful counselor. Prince of Peace is one of those. Prince people. of Peace, uh, upon whose government is going to rest on his shoulder. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's like, it's many things. Uh-huh. Shalom. Shalom. What do you think? Any name of Jesus that you remember? No, I just like I just like Jehovah Shalom because it has my name. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think that was, that is, that means Prince of Peace. I think Jehovah Shalom. Yeah, Jehovah, I am who I am. Shalom. Uh, uh-huh. I am peace. Uh, there's this there's this one. I am your peace. Um, when he was um when he was just about to be arrested, mm. and, uh, and 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 these guys come in the middle of the night and they say who they are looking for. I don't know which I don't know that it's I don't know which of the gospels account this is mm. but he says they come and they say we're looking for Jesus then he says I am and they fall down yeah. Yes it's there it's in one of the gospels Yeah and then they stand up again and they're like what just happened <laughs> then they say we're looking for so and so and he's standing there and he says I am Pop, they fall down. It must be the message Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the message Bible. Lucky Rev, it's not. It's w- it's in the gospels. Yeah. I've just I've just realized yeah, when you said I, I am. I, I remember they were confused. The other red. And I think like it's, it's it's hey, I think it's John. It's because I know them. it's it's a it's a it's a gospel that I have studied and I know I've ju- done John as part of BSF. And why do you think that is so? I think it's the power of the name, like just the I am. And you think back, okay, from what I remember from Bible study, it was when you remember where I am comes from, mm. Old Testament, yeah. um, when Moses is, I think it's Moses who is sent. Yes. At here, when the Israelites ask, ask me who sent me, what, what should I say? God says, tell I them, am I am who I am. And that's where Yahweh comes from. Mm-hmm. Yahweh is actually a Hebrew name that has been coined from I am who I am. Mm. If you take Yahweh and break it down to its constituents, Mm -hmm. you'll get I am who I am. There's no name for God. All names that have been uh, given to God are only attributes to him Mm. uh, or his character, his uh, behavior, uh, his his personality. They're all attributes. They're all attributes. Nobody has the name of God. So that means if you look at even the reading today mm. actually points to that. Mm. The names that are mentioned is Jesus, mm-hmm. which is Savior. Yes. Savior f- will save us from our sins. Mm-hmm. The other one mentioned in the reading again is Emmanuel. God with us. Again, all attributes. All attributes. Uh-huh. And even all other names. And I don't know whether you can pull up a list for us of the names that we hear Jesus being called. Mm-hmm. Uh Everything is actually referring to what he did, what he can do, his potential, his what he has achieved, mm-hmm. and what he can achieve within us. Like, for example, what would you like Jesus to do for you? Um, wow. I don't know. Anything? Mm, take the pandemic away. We can start with that. Take the pandemic away. The healer. pandemic away. He is the healer. As in every little thing that you want about Jesus, he is there. Jehovah Rapha. Every name was attributing to something that he can do for us. There is there is a list here that I know it's not it's not conclusive, like it's only part of a list. Mm. Um that 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 for me was quite significant when I we were thinking about the names mm. of um of Jesus and some of the things that have come up. And it's not conclusive, it's just part. Um, God, Rock, Savior, Messiah, Emmanuel, Holy Child, Mighty God, Lord of all, Lamb of God, um, Christ of God, King of Kings, the Word of God, um, Alpha and Omega, Prince of Peace, Light of the World, Head of the Church, Son of the Highest, um, Everlasting Father, Resurrection and Life, 
And all it's those Jesus. Are his names. All those. All those. All those have referred, been referred to. Are Jesus. referred to him. You know, some, do you know? Do you want to know how powerful names are? When you go to to these public hotels, these huge hotels, if you did a mistake of taking the tag of the toilet and washroom and cross them you'll have a very filthy smell in the washroom <laughs> and you'll have a very fresh smell in the bathroom. Or rather the opposite. If you went ahead and took a tag for ladies, put for men, <laughs> and men for ladies. There'll be chaos. You'll see chaos. <laughs> if gray, today you are shot from this day on, we tell you it is called a trouser. You'll have a very big challenge dressing up in the morning. Mm. And trouser becomes the shirt, <laughs> will become a challenge. And I believe sometimes even sins become start that way. Mm -hmm. When we stop calling things by what they are. If something is sinful, we start giving it some fancy, fancy name. Like back in the day, you know, our parents always warned us about bars and clubs. And then people came and changed bars and clubs and started calling them baesa. Ka baesa tu. Ehe, clubus juwa kuita nini. But they started calling them some fancy, fancy names that we even forget the, the old um, name that was given to it as a way of deterring us from going, from going to them. Mm. So names are very important. And so when Jesus comes and we are told his name is Jesus and it means savior, it's actually for our own good. So that we can understand mm. that we have the savior with us. Mm -hmm. That's why John was not called Jesus. And Jesus was not called John. So I have a question. Maybe Shalom can help us. Maybe Rev also. Why do we, like when we're praying, why do we say, in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Any idea? In I don't know. In the name of Jesus. No idea. Ha, this bench, we are blank. So we're turning to ah. you. <laughs> I'll take you to the book of Philippians. Uh -huh. The book of Philippians, chapter 2. From verses 9. Is it? Yes, from verses 9. Let me read from verses 9. And being found in appearance as man. No, I'll skip that. Let's go to verses. Uh, oh, that was 8, 9. Therefore God, ex yes, it was from verses 9. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. Verses 10. That at the name of Jesus, every Ni shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Mm -hmm. And there's another verse that also says, and everything that you ask in my name, you shall receive. Mm -hmm. I'll get that for you as you down the first one. So that's the power of that name, mm -hmm. that name Jesus. I know we, were, we, we, we checked this out with you, and um, Jesus is Greek, right? Hebrew. No, Jesus was the Greek. The Hebrew was Yeshua. Oh, yes, 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 Yeshua. Is, yes, which yes, yes, yes. is actually translated to Joshua. Mm. <laughs> yes. Which was kind of an interesting revelation for me personally, that yes. Jesus, Greek, Hebrew, Yeshua. Yeshua. Uh, which means... Um, Lord is salvation. And yeah. I think that's the, when we think about, um, <coughs> there's this statement that's said so many times, I don't know that you've heard it, um, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah. You know, that as you get into Advent, Christmas. as you get into Christmas, yeah, Christmas is only five days away, and guys are always using, throwing that statement all over the place. That, yeah, please remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Mm. I mean, it, it's made it said so many times. Um, but do, I, do guys actually think, I don't know whether, I've never thought about it, like, when we think about the name Jesus, mm. that that's the reason for the season. It, it is and it should, but before I even get to that, let mm -hmm. me give you the verse. It is John 14, 13 to 14. Uh -huh. And it says, and I will do whatever you ask in my name mm -hmm. so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Then 14 now, it carries the weight. You may ask me for anything in my name, in I name. will do it. So that's why we pray in the name of Jesus. Mm. Yeah. 
actually my, my, my bishop helped me um, kind of know how to end my prayers. He told me that when I am blessing, I should end in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When I am requesting, in terms of prayer, I should end in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Does it help you in some way? Yeah, that gives some clarity. Yes. That's good. Yes. Yeah. So, in relation to that scripture, we are saying, Jesus even told, um, told us in his word that if you want anything in my name. In my name. In the name of Jesus. This name that you've been given is enough to shake the heavens, uh, to shake the earth, and even hell. It is the key. Because he tells us, I am the way, mm -hmm. I am the truth, and I am the life. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you follow me being the way, you'll get there. If you're looking for the truth, I am the epitome of truth. In the beginning, there was the word. Mm. I was the word. And the word, Jesus, was with God. And so the take was. that. And the word was God. So do not have any issues with my divinity. I was God. Then he goes ahead to say, I am the truth. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. If you want to enjoy eternity, again, look up to me. Because there is no life without Jesus. There's a movie, I don't know whether you've ever watched the, is it The Pride and the Prejudice, but was acted, uh, was it even The Pride, Pride and the Prejudice? The Pride and Prejudice is a book, that's as far as I know. There was, a, there was a movie version, but I think it was done in a setup of the Hindu, uh -huh. and they, I'm always confused, whenever I have life, there's somebody who sang and said, the ladies were singing and saying, there's no life without a wife. Okay. So now that we're bringing it to our context, uh -huh. there's no life without Jesus. Ah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> I was wondering where that was going. I was wondering, I was like, okay, <laughs> life, wife, <laughs> where are we? Jesus. <laughs> you can't have life without, I've never forgotten, I've mm. never forgotten uh, how that thing is. There's mm. no life without a wife. Yeah, interesting. Um, because that, that I think was giving me the perspective of what, you know, I was raising when guys say, Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes. I don't know how many people actually think in the context of the name Jesus, mm. when they are saying that statement about, you know, Christmas time. Ever thought of that? Like, do guys actually think when you are using, from today's lesson, when you're using that statement, yeah, Jesus is the reason for the season, or you've heard it, do you think guys ever understand the depth of the name Jesus when they're talking about the season of Christmas? Um, to some extent, I don't think so. Mm. I think they only use the phrase like because of course we know Jesus was born mm. on Christmas that's why we celebrate it and I think that they only use that 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 that, that line mm -hmm. to you know well yeah he was born so he's the reason as to why we are celebrating yeah but I don't think they really understand it like in depth the inside of it mm, the yeah. depth of that name yes yeah because also I, I also I agree with her yeah. I think I just say it yeah he was born yay Christmas We've been trying to ask ourselves, what traditions do we want to start in our household for Christmas? Because mm. we're still like, uh, he's still young. So he'll one. probably not remember. First tradition. Plant a tree. Uh, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second one. But the first one, go to church. <laughs> go to church. <laughs> go to church. Second like one, plant a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get the plastic ones. Plant a tree. <laughs> and throw something on top of it and it look good. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Um, I think that gives us th such an interesting perspective to that statement. Yeah, Jesus is the reason for the season. True. That if we look at the meaning of the name, that we're talking about um, the Lord is Savior. You know, that's, that's, what, um, that's what the focus is on. That it's on a Savior who, who has come into the world. And if we think about that as, um, as, as the focus and as the major thing, I think our perspective of, of Advent and of Christmas is meant to change. So it's not just about the Mary, and I like what you've said. I, uh, the number one is let's celebrate the salvation that has come into the world. Mm -hmm. Because that's who Jesus is. That's true. It's a salvation that has come into the world. That's it's not right. about the Mary making, it's not about the booze, it's not about the traveling, it's not about. Uh -uh. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. Mm. Number one is. Jesus in our hearts. Yes. A savior has come into the world. I need to accept that saving grace. I need to shift my life and accept this uh, this grace that came 
and God was like, no, 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 I need to make salvation accessible to you. I so feel I'm like today you you're going to make son. the altar call. Sorry? I feel like <laughs> today you're going to make the altar call. Go ahead. I feel you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that has got me off guard. But I think make merry, yes. Enjoy yourself, yes. But, you know, God gave his one and only son. And the, 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 for me, the epitome of love is... Um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. I think that's the message of today. That as we look at the name of Jesus, as we think about the whole idea of what do names mean? This baby who we celebrate in a manger five days to come and there's a nativity scene in every shop and whatever, even for us here at the cathedral, there'll be one. Mm. It's not really about that scene if we're not taking the name of Jesus and believing in who he is. That's true. That he is our savior. Mm. So I guess even as we come to the end of today's session, as we think about Jesus, the savior of the world, I hope and I pray that as we even take, you know, do this prayer together, that we can take a hold of this name and say, I need him to be my savior. Make it a personal thing. Mm -hmm. um, when, when John the Baptist was saying, behold, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. Make it personal and say, you want the lamb of God who will take away your sin. Because it's possible. It's possible. It's accessible to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. I remember um, two, two weeks ago um, when we were asking ourselves, um, how hard is it for a teenager or how easy is it for a teenager to accept salvation and say, I need my life to be changed. The whole issue of repentance when John the Baptist came mm. and he was there out preaching repentance. And we agreed that, yes, it can be easy, but it can be hard, but it's as easy as you just saying a prayer today and saying, I need to accept the salvation that came with Christ when he came. And that's the prayer that I'd love for us to to make at this time. So please do bow your heads and let's um please join us in, in, in prayer. And especially if you're seated there and you know that you would love your life to be changed mm -hmm. and you'd love to accept the gift of salvation that comes in this season. Let us pray together. Please repeat after me if you want to give your life to Christ this morning. Lord Jesus, Jesus. I accept that I am a sinner. I have learned about your saving grace. I have learned about um, the sacrifice of Jesus Christ and the power in his name. This morning I accept my sin. I accept that I need your help and that I need Jesus in my life. So Lord, I open up my heart. Lord, you will send me the saving grace that came with Jesus Christ and that in the name of Jesus, my life will be changed. My life will be different and I will follow after you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer this morning, I believe in my heart yeah. that there is a new deposit in you. Hallelujah. That even as we celebrate Christmas, even as we celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ, it's going to be a different one for you mm -hmm. because the focus is on the power of Jesus' name. And I know that he will do something special in your life this Christmas. If you say that prayer, please do just inform us so that we can continue praying with you. We can continue walking with you. We can do discipleship with you. And so that you can grow as a Christian. We encourage you. Connect with God's word. Connect with, um, with a Bible-believing church if you're not a member of our church. Uh, but if you are a member, please just inform us so that we can get to walk with you and get to study God's word with you as we, 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 we trust for a transformation in your life. So may the Lord bless you and may the Lord continue to shine his light in you even as you take this, um, this new journey in life and, uh, and walk in the, in the light of Christ. That's true. Um, yeah, so for our announcements, as always, um, giving part of our worship, um, uh, our offerings, you can give your offerings, tithe, thanksgiving. Um, 
you can support the organ project through mpesa pay bill number 303035 you can also support the ctc through mpesa pay bill number 303036 today we want to represent the ctc also in a big way just like last sunday green both green and red i wish somebody would come in uh, okay we should get somebody to come in an orange t-shirt so that at least we are complete i'm going to say somebody comes with an extra green shirt uh, <laughs> i can bring my son and my wife and many people <laughs> but if you bring your family they'll all be in green I know we are the green <laughs> family. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the orange. Remember there's also team orange in all of this. <laughs> so thank true. we want to thank you guys so much um for the way you've supported us, supported ministry, supported the CTC. Mm-hmm. We're seeing God moving in an amazing way. Hallelujah. And it's all because you guys give whatever little you have mm. in finance, in in time, in prayer, in trees, in trees and all of that. All of that really supports ministry in an amazing way and so we're really really grateful to God mm. for each and every one of you. We thank God for you. Continue yeah. connecting with us um on our email address tag at all saints uh, all saints nairobi.org on our social media platforms at team tago mm. um we love hearing from you. So thank you very much and we just pray that God will continue to um to meet your needs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Before I hand over to Rev um probably shalom do you have anything to say you've been with us two weeks and we're so excited and we're so grateful that you um you're here with us i don't know if you have a christmas message for the rest of the teenagers to all your friends yes I I don't, I don't I don't mention names. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. So you don't leave out others. Yeah. You are smart. That's a smart move. Was he catch? Yeah. But hi. <laughs> all right. They wonderful. We're so grateful that you got to join us. It's been wonderful having you join us on um on the set. Um uh, we are gender imbalanced, but now that you're here, at least uh, a third yeah. of us is uh, we are so we are gender sensitive so thank you very much and and your insights your your your, your input have been really really wonderful and That's thank true. you for for being with us we really appreciate and remember if you want to join us please do tell us uh, we love uh, we want to from here you know continue having teenagers joining us on the set mm. um every single sunday so please tell us if you want to join us and we'd love to have you amen now be, again before you we want to do a christmas song uh, Before the Christmas song, let us okay. first remember, remind people and thank oh, yes, them for the t-shirts and the trousers and the shoes that you have been giving to the church. I can assure you there are people who are smiling somewhere mm. because of you. Cut us your view. Mm. May this Christmas not be just another normal Christmas. May it be a fantabulous Christmas coming from the words of Apella, the <laughs> apostle. <laughs> So may God bless you. I, it's been a really good year yes. regardless of the whole um uh, 2020. But they come come the first 31st of uh, December. Are you going to have all the goofs that we had but we were producing this? Yeah, we we'll ask the media team. <laughs> <laughs> they can compile all of that. All the goofs <laughs> behind the scenes. Yes. Uh, there are some that be needs, nice. there are some that <laughs> should not see the light of this. <laughs> but it's all right. Um we had asked our media team to join us on to the and they usually yeah. behind the cameras Kiki. um, <laughs> eh, uh, the, there are a number of people let me just mention their names and tell them a big thank you even yeah. su- for supporting um <laughs> mose, <laughs> mose, mose. their faces right now i wish you would see them they're yeah. really hoping that we don't call them in front of the cameras yeah. there's mose like, there's Charlene, the um, around. <laughs> there is uh there's Annette, there's jugush there is kiki oh, there is uh oh. there's roslyn and there's others who are not here like Kinder Jack, Mr. Waruinge. Um you guys have really supported us and and yeah, would have loved to have you guys join us and sing on this side, but they have said that they want to sing Christmas for you guys, mm. Christmas song for you guys on the other but side. If it weren't for them, uh-huh. 2020 probably would not have seen us. Oh, yes. most of it yeah. if it weren't for these guys oh, yes. you people they've made us visible ja. in 2020 i tell you oh yes it was because of them so, so one so of them i don't know who is leading us in singing merry christmas or we wish you a merry christmas <laughs> fingers <laughs> are being pointed at rosalyn 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 <laughs> rosalyn you know some of us are very poor with singing so we need someone to you know they remember us. you, you they have seen <laughs> you on this other side <laughs> Merry 
a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Na 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 Ah, uh, that's we've had fun on yes, the bench. Yes, that was fun. That was yeah, fun. so looking forward to next year. Uh, are we closing? We still have one more, one more Sunday before we can oh, close yeah. the year. Oh yeah. yeah, before we close the year. Yes. Oh we yeah, still that's have true. One more that's Sunday. true. That's true. So we can do uh closing the year Sunday next week. So okay. You know. Okay. So see you <laughs> next week, and let us finish the word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we we thank you, Lord, because. A day like today as we celebrate the 5th that is 25th that is coming when a son was born to us and a king was given to us, a savior was given to us. Lord, we do not take it for granted. We pray that this week is going to be a meaningful week for every person. Let people meet with you and understand that Jesus is here with them to transform their lives. We are grateful for bringing the likes of Shalom to be with us today. She was a blessing. We thank you for the family of Gray. We thank you for the family of the media team, dear Lord, Jehovah God, and all the teenagers who are watching us around the world. Just embrace us with your love and protect us with the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. For we pray this in his name, believing and trusting that you hear our prayers and you answer them. Amen. 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 And the grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ and, and the, the love of God, God and, and the fellowship of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Be with us That's now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Ah, Merry I, Christmas. I could not, I could not <laughs> mix it. <laughs>